hey hello friends and welcome back to another video of the series in this video series we are making this wonderful hardware from scratch where we are covering all the basic concepts and uh, if you see over here uh, we have this micro sd external flash sim card can trans receiver and level shifter in this video we are going to talk about this level shifter in detail and if i talk about what all videos already is there available for you so we have talked about sim card we talked about external flash in the last videos we even talked about the interfaces like type c choosing the right ldo okay and how to plan based on the requirement how to select your esp32 so there are multiple parts for esp32 right how to select so these all videos are available go check out this video now if we talk about the architecture the communication architecture of this hardware right so we have this uart communication happening between ec200u which is our 4g modem and also it connects back to esp32 as well so the reason uh, we are talking about level shifter is if you see right uh, any mcu like uh, when i say any mcu i'm talking about the most common mcu be it expressive or the module or you go with any ST micro uh, controller or Renaissance microchip and all. Even uh, with Raspberry Pi, you will have uh, all the all the pins are at logic three point three. Whereas when it comes to four uh, G modems, so here you have this Cavli. So Cavli Wireless is an Indian company. Then you have Quetel. Then you have Simcom. Then you have Fibocom. Then you have Telit. So all these uh, modules which you have, right? Generally, uh, you will have the logic label for the pins to be 1.8 volt. So first of all, why why this is important? Let's say if in case you want to interface, okay? So if I go back here, right? We have to interface our EC200U with the STM32. Okay, now this is at logic label 3.3. This is at 1.8. Now, how we will be able to match the communication or basically the uh, uh, the whole uh, 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 the whatever the signals that are coming right to and fro. So we have to make sure they are at the same label or they are translated at the same label to this because this guy is expecting the high as uh, 1.8, whereas this guy is expecting the high high pulse as 3.3 uh, right so we need to have something in between uh, that can basically match this um, values okay when i say when i'm saying match this value not literally matching based on let's say this is match the logic label okay on each side so we have uh, a solution something like this so this is a very common uh, uh, modules which you will see and this comes from adafruit spark fun okay and this is a ic based whereas a few of the modules which you a few of the uh, boards which you will see right that will have a mosfet based uh, logic level shifter okay so here if you see you have a lower side and a higher side then you are mapping all the signals uh, from the lower side uh, to the higher side okay and again these are being pulled up based on the logic label so we'll uh, come to the detailed discussion of this before going ahead with the video i would like to thank uh, altium for sponsoring this video and altium is one of the best pcb design software and it offers altium 365 and altium 365 basically helps you from your design requirement to the production where multiple stakeholders can uh, contribute to the project at the same time if you want to really understand what uh, uh, altium 365 offers please do check out the link in the description and you can uh, come and watch this video over here. this is just the start of how our app this covers all the details uh, how and if you see the portfolios of the companies using it right so ltm uh, thanks ltm for sponsoring this video let's go ahead uh, with the video now when we when it comes to quicktel right so this is the ec200 u series hardware design guide and if you come over here right everywhere you will find this uh, 1.8 volt power domain and even on the UARDs, right? So these are all 1.84. And here, if you see, they have clearly mentioned uh, the modules requires, uh, the module provides 1.8 volt uh, UART interface, use a level shifter circuit if applicable, if application is equipped with a 3.3 volt UART. So in our case, yes, we have uh, everything at 3.3 volt and we have to interface that. So this is one of the part number okay there are uh, multiple you can find from x and xperia then there are multiple makes okay so this is what has been suggested 
and uh, if you go to the data sheet of esp32 you will be able to understand the logic level so it's very good if you can go and read through the data sheets but uh, we'll skip this part and if if you just search for logic level converter right you will end up having uh, these many uh, uh, i can say the different types of uh, modules and where you have this so this is sorry so this is basically mosfet based um, logic level shifter and you will have a unidirectional as well as bidirectional in our case uh, we need to translate the data to and fro right so we need a bidirectional okay so there is one uh, very good uh, website which is or an article from uh, uh, circuit digest okay where you can go and understand in terms of how this logic level shifter works and these are basically on the mosfet based so whenever uh, whenever your logic let's say this is uh, the n channel mosfet which is bs110 and uh, this is the source this is the gate and this is the drain okay so whenever uh, your 3.3 logic is there so this is your gate right and this is the source so vgs okay the voltage difference between the gate and source becomes zero okay so the mosfet will be off okay in that case whatever the pull up value which is 5 volt logic over here right that will get realized that means whenever this is 3.3 you have this 5 volt okay similarly uh, whenever uh, on the other on the other side right uh, so this was on the on the higher voltage uh, higher logic side right similarly on the lower volt on lower voltage uh, side you will see how it works right so there is a detailed description how this works but one interesting thing to note over here right switching speed right so when we talk about let's say we are sending the data through uart okay and uh, you you might be using this 115 uh, 200 bits per second that means that many times this 0101 would be there because when it comes to the real world uh, signals right it is high low high low pulses in that high low high low pulses right uh, that means every second uh, some 1 lakh 15000 uh, 200 bits up uh, bits uh, values will change okay either 01 okay or it can be one also like uh, it depends on the pulse okay now now here if you see you need to choose something so this is bs 110 right and this has a switching frequency of uh, 10 nanoseconds okay to turn on and 10 nanoseconds to turn off that means in a second uh, it, it can have like almost like 1 million so uh, once tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh okay so it's a one million uh, times operation it can do in one second that means it can turn on and off okay uh, uh, basically go high and low so you can come to this uh, website to understand in details i'll link this uh, website in the description now the part which was suggested over here right was uh, tx s01 08e okay and uh, this is the same uh, data sheet of that part okay if you come here right so there is no directional control signal required over here the maximum data speed is way too high right this is like 110 megabits so this is this is represented in bits per second okay then 1.2 mega bits per second in open drain condition and if you talk about uh, on the so there are two sections of this as we saw in our slide right so we have these two sections so one of the section is designated as a section the other one is b section so b section is the high voltage side section that means let's say if you have to plug this module with this uh, mcus right so since this is the high higher side right 3.3 so you will plug all the um, digital ios over here okay and for 1.8 volt you will be plugging it on the a side so a side is on the lower voltage side b size in the high voltage side and uh, it has all these esd protections okay uh, now let's let's see the typical application diagram so this is the typical application diagram right so you have the vcca so basically uh, this in our case would be from the gsm okay uh, the 1.8 volt okay so you have this gsm external uh, reference voltage right so you can just plug that in over here and then you have a decoupling capacitors this is from the mcu side 
okay so this is a uh, 0.1 microfarad decoupling capacitor and this is where your 3.3 volt uh, system controller and 1.8 volt system controller is interfaced so since it is eight channel if you see right uh, so here 108 8 represents your eight channel if you google it for uh, 104 right so that is a four channel so this is a four bit okay bi-directional and this is uh, eight bit bi-directional okay now let's uh, come back to yep yeah. so here you will interface uh, interface the data signals okay now let me just scroll down and see if they have given uh, some more detailed version okay so one pin which is very important is basically this oe that means output enable and um, whenever uh, your output right uh, if it is pulled down okay in that case uh, it is there in a high impedance uh, mode that means there won't be any translation happening okay so it is literally in an isolated mode where it is off and whenever this is pulled high okay it will be in a enabled mode okay uh, so i think uh, you can come and read over here right so the output enable is designed to be supplied by VAA, VCAA that means on the lower voltage side so if you see here right this has been plugged to the VCCA line okay yeah so you can come in here and uh, basically go through the data sheet but application wise it is very straightforward you have to have the reference voltages from your uh, a controller side being put so these are basically you are uh, providing the vcca from the lower lower uh, uh, side system and uh, vccb on the higher side system and then you can pull down this okay uh, basically with uh, let's say uh, uh, pull down with some uh, resistor and you can uh, pull that up okay with the, the same 1.8 volt which is the vcca right as mentioned down so basically whenever it has been pulled high okay to that voltage it will always be enabled so ideally in the circuits i have seen so let me show you right let's let's search uh, let's search this part in google so i think the best way right to understand few things is basically going through the reference uh, design so i'll just uh, do a schematic over here right so let's see if in case we have any schematic okay okay great so if you see over here right this has been pulled up to 3.3 which is on the uh, vcca side right so this is how the application talks about so sometimes it is very good if you can just uh, search the part number go to the schematic okay and click on images okay so you'll be able to have lot of references don't blindly follow it because most of this are sometimes uh, the questions that comes from uh, the chat and other things but uh, you can click over here so this is from sunroom okay and they sell these parts okay so this is a typical application circuit which they have in place okay so you can uh, refer to this i will not be extending this video along so here you have the four bit okay then you have uh, a cheaper version also available when i say cheaper version this is equivalent to what we have so this is nx b0108 pw and it comes with a uh, automotive grade also q100 okay so this is the uh, automotive grade from from an xperia so in case you have a uh, automotive requirement uh, where your uh, basically the operating conditions you need a higher operating range in terms of temperature okay in terms of uh, esd protections and all so you can uh, check this parts uh, similarly you have uh, okay so this is uh, similarly you have for 104 which is again a four bit uh, uh, four bit dual supply translating a uh, trans receiver and if you see the typical applic so you can come and check these data sheets also okay and if you come and see the typical application circuit it's the same you have this decoupling capacitors then the, you have your uh, output enable being pulled up uh, to vcca okay and then you have your a1 a2 a3 a4 so this is a four bit okay being uh, connected to the uh, low voltage side system and b is connected on a high voltage side system so as an application things are very straightforward and uh, these are the models that comes from adafruit and all so what you can do right you can simply 
come over here go to click on the data sheet or let's say uh, this is uh, i think ti does this very well so ti always have some sort of uh, application uh, and report or note so txb series whatever we were searching right so this is a detailed uh, uh a detailed working principle or the application note how things are working so i will uh, attach the link for this also in the description you can check it out so guys uh, i think uh, i am making a lot of effort so that i can help you guys to understand the basic concepts whatever is required to design this hardware and these are going to be like 40 to 50 videos like these i know videos are lengthy and i would request you to please uh, like these videos subscribe to the channel and send it uh, and share these videos to your friend okay guys thanks for watching thanks a lot